A drought occurs when the soil and environment get no or very little water. It can reduce or destroy crop production and affect animals by reducing their feed or by destroying their natural habitat. Droughts can also disrupt water-intensive industrial activities. The paper industry, for example, requires large amounts of water for production, while nuclear plants need water for cooling. A chronic lack of water can also dry up lakes like the Aral Sea, which in 40 years has shrunk to half its original size. Droughts are defined as a rainfall deficit over a long period of time when compared to the normal average. This average can be higher in moderate climatic zones like Northern Europe or the United States and lower around the Mediterranean or in Africa. Droughts can affect surface soils as well as deep water reserves. The former is a case of meteorological drought where the lack of rain affects and ruins crops. Often, however, drought conditions are aggravated by the planting of unsuitable crops like corn, which require intensive irrigation. Certain agricultural techniques like monoculture over very large areas can also negatively affect the environmental equilibrium by bringing about rapid evaporation. A second type of drought affects the deep soils and water reserves like lakes, glaciers and snowbanks. The natural equilibrium is also affected when these reserves reach low levels. This could also happen even when precipitation levels are normal or high, when the soil is not permeable enough or when the water is diverted by human intervention. Thus, droughts are not always the result of natural climatic conditions. The tension that exists between the availability and the demand for water, with men and their needs for agriculture and livestock, increases the risk of drought. Other human activities, like the building of swimming pools, watering of lawns, and washing of cars, also often aggravate drought conditions.